You can now watch almost any football match you like. So many are televised. And, but you may have to pay for it. But what you may not have expected is that in order to watch your team in the FA Cup, that you'd have to place a bet on the match or put a deposit in a betting account. That's the result of a deal the FA has struck via the sports rights agency, IMG, with Bet365. It's caused outrage, not least because gambling has led to so many mental health problems and the FA makes much of its mental health campaigns. It even delayed kickoff by a minute last weekend to publicise its President Prince William's mental health campaign. Mark Palios was the FA chief executive between 2003 and 2004. He's now chairman of League One football club Tranmere Rovers. Good afternoon. Afternoon. What do you make of this deal? Uh, I, I think the, the first thing is the timing of the deal is, is um, probably what's caused the FA the difficulties. I think um, most people nowadays would accept that this is not something that I think the football desperately wants to get involved with. But actually, football does have a long-standing and quite a deep relationship with the gambling, uh, with the gambling community. Um, I think from the FA's perspective, uh, it, it's inconsistent with their stance now on on uh, mental health, etc. And the, the, the it, the linkages between mental health and gambling are, are you know, are, are there for everybody to see. So, I think it's a function of the timing of this. I think that um, uh, could they actually redress it straight away at the moment? Uh, probably not because of privity of contract. I would imagine the FA has a contract with IMG. IMG is a contract with Bet Three Six Five. So to unravel it straight away is going to be quite difficult for them. So but they're tied into be... it until twenty twenty four, from the sounds of things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, but, and, the, and the FA's argument that, look, they struck a, a deal with IMG back in 2017, does that hold water? I mean, I suppose I don't have all the information as regard to contract that they, that they, that they um, put with IMG, but I would imagine they should have made some effort to uh, establish that mm -hmm. IMG could only subcontract to other partners who are consistent with what the FA wants to do. Um, I have to say that in the fairly recent past, I think the highlights in terms of the the relationship with gambling, which I think shortly after they signed this deal, um, it was highlighted that they wanted to re reduce that by um, cancelling their or, or, or not renewing their deal with Ladbrokes. So I think the timing of this is unfortunate for them. Uh, but going forward, almost certainly they will not um, uh, want to 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 include uh, this in, in the in the sponsorships. We we as a club ourselves, we we have a demographic in Birkenhead. With some some of the poorest areas of the country, uh, and we've been approached despite our financial difficulties over the last few years. We've been approached by betting companies, and we simply said it was something for us not to do. Whilst the game may may uh, be involved, I think clubs have to make their own decisions as to whether they get involved. And for us, uh, we decided against it. Well, well can, can I ask why? Because there will be people who say, "Look, the only reason I'm able to watch this match is because Bet Three Six Five are putting a load of money into it, and therefore I can watch it." And yes, I may have on the side of my screen the op opportunity to bet on it, um, but but that's a price worth paying. What do you say? Well, I can only speak for ourselves on this, and and, and we, are, we 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 proudly say we're Wirral's family club, and it's rooted in the community. Um, I think it's it's well established the linkage between gambling and the problems and the problems that makes for a community itself in terms of breakdown of marriages and families and so forth and so on. Uh, and so it was it was purely a personal decision by this club to do that to to distance itself. And if the fans, I think the fans realise that they understand they don't need to have to have that that by the side of the screen. I just think it's it's for me it's entirely inconsistent to force somebody to um, to make a payment. Uh, whether it's to make a bet or it's just to make uh, access to the opportunity to make a bet on something that we know that we really have to uh, to, to look after in society. I think that the phrase that, you know, um, when the fun stops, stop, is, is all well and good for the betting community to say that. But the reality is, if the fun stops, you're well past that point. And, and that, I think, is the, is the insidious nature of this. And I don't think, as a sport, we should be involved in it. And I think the FA... Will uh, having made the decision as regard Ladbrokes, I think they will come to the same conclusion when they look at what they do in terms of their new sponsorship deal. Mark Palios, thank you very much.